Well, hello, 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 and welcome to the live stream. How's everyone doing? Is everyone out there? You guys hear my audio okay? I got this microphone here. I'm just getting this set up. I'm going to get that out of my face there for a little bit. Drop a comment. Say you're here. Say you can hear me. Let me know we have audio rocking. And tonight we are talking about StreamYard, which is the platform that you're seeing me broadcasting via right now. So we'll give this a few moments to uh, get sent out to everyone here on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, we got a couple people on both of those platforms. So like I said, drop me a comment there to let me know you're seeing me and, uh, and hearing me. Audio is rocking. Thanks, Rob. Looks like you're coming at me on YouTube. So we'll call that a win. That's amazing. So check this out. We are going to talk about StreamYard. StreamYard is pretty much my favorite, my go-to right now. This mic is my go-to, but it's in my shot. StreamYard is currently my go-to platform for creating live streams. It creates, it's like a behind the scenes production studio that you can create your live streams where you're seeing me create this stream right now in StreamYard. And it also acts as distribution to all of the platforms, whatever platforms you want. So we, uh, right now we're going out to just YouTube and Facebook simultaneously. So people will be watching on YouTube and on Facebook, uh, which is so cool. So the couple of things that I wanted to talk about, like a lot of people are thinking about doing live stream, but they don't know how to get past doing their, you know, going on their Facebook live on their phone. StreamYard is really cool. There's a few things we're gonna talk about. You can add your logo to the stream. So my logo is between dreams. We'll do the BD. Like I, I got the hat on. We'll double it up. Oh, it's over on that side. We'll double it up with the little logo. So you add your logo in. That's really cool. You can do overlays. So the people that were here within the first 45 seconds, you could see how I played this video. That was actually an overlay. And the overlays can do different types of things um, as far as like playing pre-recorded videos, adding graphics and things like that onto your stream. You can do things with the background. So you can have a background when you have multiple people. Uh, speaking of multiple people, we can bring in guests and maybe we'll bring in a few guests here today just on the fly to show you how simple it is. There's a private chat back in the back end. So the, the different like co-hosts or guests that you have have a private chat room so that you can say, hey, are you ready to pop in? And that doesn't go out to the um, to the actual audience. You can do screen sharing, which I'm going to show you how to screen share one of my things that I'm working on right now. And then there's the streaming destinations, as I said at the beginning, where we can send this out like we're doing right now, sending it out to uh, Facebook Live and YouTube Live. And, and there's a new thing now, LinkedIn Live, uh, which is like kind of an invite only type of thing, but um, it's really cool. And uh, you have access to all of that stuff. So we'll keep an eye on this. Uh, looks like everyone's doing good on the audio, hearing me. And uh, so so let's kick right into it. And I will show you just as an idea. So, so we will show, let's see. If you guys didn't get a chance to check out StreamYard. You can see in the comment, I think there's a comment wherever you're watching, there's a link you can you can check it out. But basically, do questions come up? Yes, so Brett just asked, so we'll get to all this. Uh, I'll, I'll feel free to throughout, drop your questions here in the comments. Um, I'll try to like get package them into a thing so it's not completely random and we'll absolutely be able to share uh, some of the specific questions, but Brett, just to answer your question right there, do questions come up? Yes, I can click on them and make them come up. So again, drop your questions in there. We'll kind of save the questions till the end so that I can, so that I'm not all over the place. So what I wanted to first talk about was adding your logo. So like, as Rob says, branding is important. So with StreamYard, it's really cool because you can add your logo. So we see up in this top corner, my BD logo, and it's as simple as in the, in the back end, um, you can just click on 
there's the Between Dreams one. And then, you know, the, there's the generic powered by StreamYard. That one comes preloaded. But you can add any of your transparent background and it'll just end up right up there in the corner. And that's awesome because you can have your show title or your the name of you, your name. You could pop that up there. Uh, so I think that's really cool. Overlays are really cool in StreamYard because they do a few different things. So overlays, so like this is an example of one of the overlays that I would use. This would be more if I wasn't on the screen and I was just kind of waiting or, uh, but you could put anything up there. I've, I've, I'm, I'm working on behind the scenes on another magic show where this overlays something where then people can see different things on the screen while the performer can still be seen kind of through them. So you can add a transparency logo onto there. And then finally, a good thing, another really cool part with the overlays is you can pre, you can load in videos, so pre-recorded videos. Right now, it's only f up to five-minute videos that you're allowed to upload in, and there's some, there's some s size restrictions. But the, so the people that were here at the very beginning, I'll give you guys, I'll, I'll click it here in a second, mm -hmm. but using an overlay, you can actually jump in with your pre-recorded videos. And uh, that's what I used for the beginning. The opening little sequence was actually an overlay. So I'll play this right now as an example of how that overlay works. So I'm just in my back end here. I click, this, this would be like something that I would play for the opening uh, when we're about to begin. It's a, a thing and we'll just let it play for a few seconds to show you how easy it is. I just go over here, I click my overlay. So you can see that would play for the whole minute. I usually I like to do about a minute at the top end, just gives people a few minutes to see that there's a live stream going. And that's so simple. I've done that with some, you know, I was doing my variety show and those variety show acts that would pop into my show would only be, they would never be more than five minutes. So they could send me that video. Um, I could load it in and then just, I could just click as I'm in this back end, boom, click it, it plays. And that actually is really cool because on the back end, it actually mutes my microphone. So while the overlay is playing with audio, it mutes my microphone. So it's really cool. Um, so overlays are really cool because again, you can do like a, a, a full overlay like that. Obviously this doesn't make any sense for right now, but you could do something, you could design a, um, you could potentially design a thing where maybe you're doing a magic show and people need to choose options over on the sides. You can do, you can, you can design an overlay like that or, or doing a juggling bit or something where it's fun, where you like have people pick different color juggling balls or whatever type of show you're doing, you could use those. And then also you can do the uh, videos. The background is cool. You can upload any image that you want for your background. So, uh, this will combo into, this will be a combo of background and guests. And uh, as you can see, I'm able to on the fly change these banners. So this is all going to kind of combo into one because you're never doing one feature at a time. What's great about this is you're utilizing three, four, five of the features all at once. Like I want to talk about the background, but while I want to talk about the background, I want to talk about guests. So We'll kill those and say there was another guest who happens to be live streaming right next to me. Now, this wouldn't happen, but just imagine somebody on the other side of the world had a computer, had a webcam, and they wanted to be, they were scheduled to be my guest on my online podcast. I would, they would click in with the link that I sent them, and this opens right in a browser. It's really simple. They click in, I add them to the stream, and there's my guest. Welcome to my guest over there talking to me from the other side of the world or the other side of the room. And then we can have a conversation. I can talk to my guest here. They can talk to me over there. And it's pretty amazing. Uh, and and the, the reason why I comboed the background and the guests is because you can see here there's the the guests, there's two guests here, or me and one, uh, the host and one guest. Um, but you can see in the background here, there's a curtain. It's actually that curtain, which is kind of funny that it's the curtain plus the curtain. So there's backdrop on a backdrop on a backdrop. But you could upload 
anything onto the backdrop. You could upload a little Between Dreams logo back there. That doesn't make sense either right now, but it would maybe make sense if your logo had some border. You could design a border that frames if you're only doing like a two person interview show. You could design a backdrop border that has like a really cool thing and it has your name built into it. I like going classic with the classic theater curtains in the background really uh, makes the most sense for me. Let's see, we'll make sure we're cool. Just doing a little quick check on the Facebook there. So, and you can see on this wide, we'll kick this over here. You can see what actually what I'm seeing here in this. Let's go full. I'll, I'll So we can kick me back in, kick me out by accident, <laughs> and then I'm back in. So audio died. Oh, so what happened there when I removed, when I just put myself back in there on the wide, um, I was actually pulling audio from my main camera and I muted myself by accident. So that wasn't a problem except me making a mistake. Thanks, Eddie, for dropping that message in there. Yeah, so audio is just coming from this camera and I didn't, didn't realize that when I remove myself, it's gonna go away. So thanks, yeah, and then, and then yeah, so it's really cool. Again, somebody pops up in a comment on Facebook. I can see this is Funny Yeti popping in, let me know audio died. So boom, it's like your audience is gonna let you know, you know, if they have an issue or have a problem and you'll be back in. I'm assuming my audio is back in and we're ready to rock. So that's kind of like the idea of bringing guests in and background. So then you have the private chat, which is pretty self-explanatory. Oh, gotcha. Okay, cool. So people were letting me know there was no audio still. Um, so that's good to know that I, uh, I would have known that too. Um, if I was a get, if like I was doing my own broadcast, I would have known that I didn't have audio because this computer here says my mic is muted. I was just not looking at it because I'm <laughs> operating as like three people in a normal situation right now. There would never, you would never be doing this with this much stuff as one person. I'm at basically acting as two to three people. So private chat is just real simple. So if you were working with your co-hosts or your different guests behind the scenes, you can chat with them and say, hey, are you ready? You're going to be on in five minutes. So make sure your camera's on and ready and rocking and that. Uh, one of the cool, so we'll get rid of my wide there. One of the really cool things is you can do screen shares. So, um, so say you were doing a podcast or you're promoting something right now, I'm promoting a little mastermind group that I'm working on. And I'll show some of that to you guys that are interested in it later, but I'll just show you how I would maybe want to share a screen of something. So I can share my just go mastermind. So you can see uh, that so I just brought up this external monitor and I can select what window I want to share. So I wanted to share this mastermind. This is the Just Go Mastermind. It's a new program I'm working on. And again, this isn't to promote this. This this <laughs> this stream is not to promote this, but it's something I'm working on. So say you are doing a thing that you're promoting your show or promoting a, a product that you're selling or promoting some kind of thing uh, that you want to share a screen. So you can share a Chrome tab, you can share other windows. So, and then you can bring this over. Now I'm just scrolling down on that monitor with showing that screen. And I'm able to show that screen with, uh, with what's in there. And that's live, that's like instantaneous. That's like sharing in real time exactly how we want to do it. Like my mastermind group. Yes, Rob, this is my mastermind group. You can, you can join if you want. I'll tell you how 
at, if you stick around to the end, just like a any true internet marketer, you got to stick around to the end to find out. So yeah, so that is the screen sharing. So you can also do things. I know a lot of uh, variety show type people are doing stuff where they'll throw a video into a Chrome tab and then be able to, um, and then they'll be able to uh, play that video. So I can remove myself. When I remove myself and then I could I could remove my banner, I could remove myself and then show that window in a full screen, it would look like this. So you could get creative with that. That's actually not showing a full screen. So I could like full screen. And then if I remove myself, that might look a little better. Yeah, so you can fiddle with that. It's it's kind of like you, you have to fiddle with it until you get it right. Um, but it's pretty great. Okay. So, and then I can just remove that. So I can go full screen if I want, and then I can still talk in the background. I can make it big like that. I can make me big and then put my um, screen share over there, or I can remove my screen share and just talk to my main camera. And while I'm doing that, while I'm doing that, people are texting me. Uh, then say I was doing that and then I want to bring back my co-host or bring back my guest. I can bring back my guest over there. We'll go regular view like that. Boom, my guest is back over there. And you can even do like a full, like the full, I like that when there's the two guests and they're just talking. That's a really cool view like that. So you can do that and bring them back in. It seems like when you remove yourself, it mutes you. Yeah, so there's two ways to do it. If I remove myself from the stream, it mutes me. But if I would... Do this, and I think so. Uh, this would be something that you'll have to we'll have to test here. If I go here and click it full screen like that, that uh, that should be still displaying my audio to you guys. I believe that should have still been playing my audio. A lot of this stuff you just have to test for yourself, uh, depending on what features you want. But I believe that was the case. I, I actually removed myself from the stream the first time, but then I just made the display. Cool. Yeah, there's like some finicky things that you just need to learn how to do. Just like with anything, it's like uh, once you learn how to do it, it's pretty intuitive. So then finally, we get to streaming destinations. And I kind of brought this up at the beginning. You can utilize StreamYard, and it syncs to your different accounts. So it syncs to your Facebook account, or your YouTube account, or your LinkedIn account, or even you can sync it if you're the admin of a YouTube or a Facebook group. You can add that um, as your destinations. And uh, if you... Uh, if you uh, just write within your thing, you just you it's so easy. You just add you hit edit, you add a destination, then you like log in. You use your login credentials from your uh, whatever whatever platform you're using. Log in with your credentials, and then it'll sync to your account. And then when you want to go live, you just go live. And on like Facebook and YouTube, you can schedule the lives, which is pretty cool. So most of you guys here saw that I scheduled this live yesterday. So then I was able to promote it on Facebook, promote it on YouTube, promote those links out so that people can plan to be on it. And then you can also, then if you were going to YouTube, a cool feature that some people are doing is grab that YouTube video embed link, embed that onto your own site. And then you could have like a whole branded site that people are watching. It's on YouTube. It's a YouTube video, but it's brand, it's embedded into your site, which is kind of cool. If you have like a really cool site that you want to send people to, to sell them on your mastermind, you could have that site as like in that mastermind sales page, you could have the live video playing right there. So that's pretty sweet. So that part kind of goes through all of the, I think all of the like behind the scenes features. Um, so we can pop into, uh, and then you can make the little tickers go all around the bottom like that. So we'll open it up here to uh, Q and A, specific Q and A that you guys have. Um, you know, and and as you can see, so I have a lot of gear here. I've got three computers, well, two computers here, extra monitor. Um, I have a shotgun mic running. I've got the Mix Pre Three, which is an amazing audio. If you if you want like the best audio in the world. Um, 
that thing's awesome. This microphone's awesome. I've got the capture cards running. The capture cards run the cameras into the um, computer so that the computer can recognize the proper cameras as webcams. Um, there's a lot of gear and tech, and I actually have a little bit of a, 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 a gear list that uh, I can send out to you guys if you would be interested in it. Uh, but uh, if you have specific questions, not so much. I think not not so much like the gear stuff is just like stuff that I've answered a lot. So if you have kind of basic gear questions, that's cool. But a better question would be kind of like thinking about maybe I wanted to keep this more about the features that are available in StreamYard or just general questions about audience, like crafting experiences for audiences. Uh, anything like that would be pretty good. So we will kick back to the beginning here. Um, again, for the people that are new here, earlier at the very beginning, Brett asked, do questions come up? So they pop up on my uh, feed over here on the little sidebar, and I'm able to just click them and pop them in. And then uh, Stuart says, I did a show with one Mac, a good camera, a capture card, and a second monitor for easy sharing of pre-recorded materials. It was super easy. So yeah, I helped a little bit on the thinking side on the Stewart's uh, stream he recently did. So this, again, this setup that you see here in the wide is, is somewhat elaborate. So let's see, can I highlight just myself? So I could do solo layout, and I think you can still hear me um, talking here. So I'm talking into this main one here, and you guys can see, again, this laptop right here is the... Uh, is like this setup over here. And so this is like two people. This would be like one person here. This would be me behind the scenes on the workstation, uh, rocking into the main iMac external monitor. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. So then I was able to highlight this view and then I can say exit solo view and bring me back in, kick me back in on that main one. So I have a question. Can you make guess the larger image when you have multiple people on screen with you? So the main, uh, that's that's one of the features that, so, so I guess I never said this, but I'm not working for StreamYard. StreamYard doesn't pay me. They do uh, have like an affiliate program where I get like a couple bucks if you sign up through my link. I'm not really, I don't, it's not really worth it for me to spend this much time for the couple bucks that they send me. Um, but they, I just want to help because I know people ask me questions all the time. It's easier for me just to do it once and uh, and uh, then I don't have to answer questions uh, all day on Facebook messages. <laughs> so I wanted to put that disclaimer out there. I'm not working for StreamYard. If you do sign up through my link, I get a couple bucks, but not enough to be worth it. So I don't have any like crazy interest in selling the product to you. It's just I use it and I pay for it. So I think it's really great. So the one of the, that being said, there is a StreamYard Facebook community and people drop requests in there. And this is one of the biggest requests because when you put these guests, like it's me, so me as the host, what Robert's saying here is like, if, if main camera Chris was the host and side camera Chris was the guest, it is really hard to switch those people's places. It basically always favors the main host, you who created the stream as that main host one, and then the side people um, are the guests. Um, I think they're just, so, so there's trade-offs with StreamYard. They made it very simple and very easy to use, which means they had to leave out a lot of features that some people might want to use. But it's like, if I had different options for layouts and all these things, like so many things that would be there, like I would just be lost here if I was producing a, a solo stream by myself. So I'm almost glad, in a way, I'm almost glad that some of the features that you might think you might want um, aren't available because then I would just be lost here. Sometimes I'm producing, like I'm producing this whole thing by myself here alone in a living room. If I had more options, I think it would just be, it would almost be too much. Um, Rob says, I know a lot of library performers who are frustrated because the library systems won't let them use Zoom for privacy re reasons. I keep pointing out shows like Scam and Between Dreams, the who use virtual feedback, who use VVS. I'm confused at what you're saying here, Rob. So 
virtual. Oh, virtual audience feedback. Yeah, so Zoom is crazy just because it's like, yeah, they, there is like the, the privacy concerns with Zoom. I'm not sure exactly what the main concern here is. Um, one of the solutions for that, one of the interesting solutions for the interaction is that we could bring in guests as like the audience into this backstage. So you could even, if you were selling a show, you could sell VIP front row seats and actually invite your guests into the backstage area. And then I could bring you up if you were a, I could bring you up as a, as a guest. Oh, Between Dreams virtual variety show. Yes. So, so I could have like six people on stage, on, on stage, on screen and um, use that as the, um, kind of like as your audience. And then you could send it out to a private Facebook or a private YouTube link that's hidden on their website or just a private YouTube link. Uh, that's one of the good solutions for that. I see now I'm just, I don't know if it's coming through to you guys. I can see now my voice looks like it's a little off my, um, off my lips. And that's just because I'm using this, um, that is because I'm using this um, mix pre, and uh, I don't have I didn't set it up properly to like um, compensate for the little bit of a delay. So there's like an H HDMI delay, which you could just solve that. I just kind of didn't do that. So if if it looks like my voice is off, it's not really a problem. It's something that can be solved if you're using X. But my problem is I have two cameras, external audio. I have all these things that didn't quite get set up the right way. So did a show. All right, kick back into here, virtual audience so you can get the feedback without having to use everyone. Yeah, so again, I could I could pull in some front row sick ticket people and then have them as kind of my audience, but the general audience, and you could have 100 people watching on a private YouTube link somewhere, and that would be pretty sweet. And yeah, StreamYard would be perfect for this, and you could invite the, the special VIPs um, you can have 10 VIPs like in the backstage waiting area and you could have six of them up on state up on stage or on screen at a time. So a lot of magicians particularly that need an audience, need someone to pick something, something like that. You can, uh, do that that way. Um, convention magician says, can many people call into the stream yard and participate like on a zoom or did they need to predetermine before the show? So I could post the link. Um, for people to join in and then people can join in the show via a private link and they just click in through a Chrome browser and they could pump punch in. It'd be better if they were predetermined for the show because it's like if they're watching on YouTube, then they'd have to go to click a link. So one of the things, one of the magic shows that I'm working with behind the scenes, um, the performer selects, he, he says there's, there's room for like six VIP front row seats. So they say who, who wants to participate? Who's got like you know, a quiet space that you're not going to be disrupting. You can also mute people. Um, and then they're like the front row seats for the whole show. We don't swap those people out because, again, that's just going to get too complicated and too confusing. Um, if you had a panel with five guests, can you make the one speaking the larger image while keeping all the guests seen? Yeah, so what I would do that with that, I would keep the panel um, person the main speaker. And then I would put the other um, guests on the side, like this view, um, which then on this view, I always, the I'm like mirrored, but then not unmirrored. I'm mirrored two times, so I'm back to normal. This thing could have like a one, two, three, four, five guests over there as little like thumbnails over there. That would be the view that I would do. Again, that's gonna just be really hard to pick if, if each person is talking at a different time you could highlight the person, do the solo out layout. Like I could kick this, I kicked over and okay, this is the solo person layout. Um, so that would be an option for that though. Message chopped into pieces because of YouTube's limit. Oh, was that your previous comment? There's three parts. Okay, Rob, did we address all your, Rob the balloon guy, did we address all three parts of that? 
So this is a thing that people are working on. Can you Zoom call with 20 panelists and broadcast, bring that window over into StreamYard to Facebook Live and YouTube Live? Technically, yes. So that would be something that you would do with the um, shared, you could do a shared window. You could do your Zoom call in a Chrome tab and then bring that into StreamYard and then send the feed out to Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Is this a good idea? Sure, if you want to make your life complicated, I wouldn't do it. So like part of the thing that I'm doing is just the live streams that I'm doing are simple. I'm not trying to do something that's hard to create because it's just not worth it. There's there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Zoom can go wrong on that. StreamYard can go wrong on that. Facebook Live can go wrong on that. YouTube Live can go wrong on that. So it's like for me, StreamYard is great because I boom, kick it in and kick my show out to Facebook and YouTube. Now, that being said, I did this week, I did broadcast a link, a Zoom webinar. I So I screen grabbed the Zoom webinar from a Chrome tab, brought that into StreamYard and sent that out to LinkedIn Live. It worked. It wasn't super awesome because there was just a little bit of a workaround, but technically, yes. Can you make Zoom show look this good? What do you mean by that? Like video quality? Is that what you're... Uh, are you saying video quality? So video quality right now, this is not... Um, it looks like, oh, Michael, we, we missed you. I'll get back to you. Um, so I'm just using re really good cameras. Oh, I skipped a few. I skipped a few questions up here. Sorry, guys. Have you compared... Uh, so, Michael, have you compared StreamYard side-by-side -side with Ecamm Live? Yeah, so Taylor Hughes and Nick Paul on the Live from the Shed Quarters, they use Ecamm Live. Um, I, most of the people here will know those guys if you're in juggling magic-type worlds. And um, they use Ecamm Live. It Ecamm Live ha does have more features. Like, you can just pull more things in, and it's just... You can do a lot more things but it makes it harder to bring in a guest. What I like doing with this is like me doing my thing. If I want a guest, I can click them in. Ecamm uses like Skype and then you have to have a Skype call and it brings the Skype call in. It works fine, but it's complicated. And also Ecamm Live is a standalone program and it's a little bit more demanding on your computer. Like you got, your computer is gonna be working hard to run Ecamm Live where StreamYard can just kind of like rock out because it's using a Chrome tab. So it's just using a Chrome window to operate the, it's no program. You don't have to download anything. You just click into a, a Chrome tab and you can go. So I, I, again, it's one of the things where like, I want it to be as simple as possible. And I want, I don't want there to be things that can break. Um, do you need to use OBS? So no, this is taking the place of OBS. So I'm building, this is a standalone. It just works in a Chrome tab. You sign up, click in click over to your webcam or your whatever webcam you have and you can hit go live and you're out live. So this is basically taking the place of OBS. So I think I hit, if I missed your question, just don't feel bad to repost it because there's a bunch of, there's Facebook posts <laughs> and YouTube posts and I, uh, Yes. So is there a way to quote sandbox so we can play around with it without necessarily going live to the universe? Absolutely. So you can go in and um, there'll be an option to just, it just says record only. It just says skip destinations, just record only. So you can just go on and test it out a thing and you can record it. So then you can go back. It'll just record down. It'll, it, it records to their cloud and you can redownload it for seven days after your broadcast. Uh, or, or after you're recording, just as long as you don't go out to Facebook um, or YouTube, that's fine. You can record it or you can just not record it too. I've actually used it as like a meeting when I'm just like need to need to video chat with somebody. I'm like, here, just click into my stream yard. And then I pop them up and I just pop them up uh, on there. And, and I just like do basically a Zoom call and I just don't record it and don't broadcast out because it was like the easiest way for me to click in. I didn't need to make a Zoom meeting or whatever like that. So yeah, there's a there's absolutely a way to do that. And again, if you are on YouTube uh, watching, check out, there's a link. I might've posted, a, it might be the top comment um, 
or I think if it's not, I'll, I'll add it after this into the um, description. There's a link for StreamYard that you can uh, sign up. And it's my affiliate link. So I think you get $10 off your first month that you pay or second month to pay or I don't know, you get something. You can start a stream and not broadcast it, test it, exactly. Looking for a way that I can have a secret broadcast so I can see what it looks like from an audience POV. Yeah, so again, you can just do your thing and you can record it. Um, so then you'll be able to do it. Yes, so I don't know um, what that was referring to. Um, lighting in particular, so yeah, I mean, so again, People ask me all the time, like, how do you get your quality to be so good? I mean, first of all, I have, so there's a lot of factors that go into making it good. So like I've, I talked, I had a previous stream, which you can go see talks about like having soft light and soft light perfectly on you. And, and I mean, I'm going through a Sony a seven three camera as my main camera, a 6,500 over here. And then also I have gigabit internet. So I have hardwired really the fastest internet that basically you can buy in uh, the world, I have directly into this computer. So there's a lot of factors that go into making things look um, and sound good. Uh, the lighting particularly is also like, I mean, there's lights behind me, there's lights here, there's lights here, there's a top light up there. It's like, there's no like secret answer to getting this stuff good, but I'm a professional videographer. Um, so, me being able to be, oh, so thanks, Rob. It looks like Rob just posted the lighting video over on the YouTube channel. Rob, are you watching on YouTube and Facebook? <laughs> so if you're on Facebook, Rob just posted the YouTube video for lighting. But again, it's like, you know, I spent a lot, I spent basically my whole life learning about lighting and video. So it's one of those things where it's like, if you, there's no, there's, there's not really like a shortcut. It's a combination of me learning the best lighting, the best lighting that I like, the best camera that I like, the best filter on the camera, the best lens that I like on the camera. So combo all of those things. Um, it kind of becomes a little bit of a thing where if you're just like a magician and don't care about video things, it's going to be a, a little bit tricky to get like something like this, where I have a dedicated living room for this stuff. But it's not impossible. I have a, uh, yeah, you guys can hit me up later. I have like links to some of my recommended gear and things like that. You can also broadcast to an unlisted YouTube link. So only invited guests can you watch if, if you're practicing. Yeah. So you could do like a, Hey, I'm doing a private stream just for my friends and you can send a private link out so they could actually watch it. Um, and that would be cool. That'd be a cool way to do it where you can just literally invite four of your friends be like, hey, I want to test this thing out. I want to see how it actually behaves in real time on a live. All right, here you go, everyone. Remember this YouTube link. <laughs> if you're on Facebook, you can actually click it. If you're on YouTube, I don't know, figure it out yourself, I guess unless Rob will post the YouTube link on YouTube as well, maybe. Rob is my tech guy, who isn't actually my tech guy. <laughs> and he's on both Facebook and YouTube. I don't know why. He's just listening with a big delay probably, because I think Facebook delays it a few seconds more than Facebook does, or whatever. I'm not sure what that was. Cool. So it looks like comments kind of slowed down here. Let me know if you have any other specific questions uh, real quick, but we're at 40 minutes here, so that's perfect. <laughs> Nielsen ratings. Who was that? What? There was like a Nielsen comment that came up from Nielsen the Magician. Rob said something. Rob, you said something about, I forget what the joke, it was so dumb. It was a dumb some sort of dumb joke. Does anyone, oh, here's the thing. Does anyone want to test out the, how it works if you would just pop in as a guest? If someone wants to volunteer to pop in, I'll show you how to do it. Um, so I just copy it. I go, I'll go over to my YouTube here. 
and uh, or my Facebook or how many people are watching on oh most people are watching on YouTube actually so let's go to YouTube I'll view on YouTube I might get a weird echo here so I'm sorry uh, so I will drop a comment into YouTube Can you guys see that? If anyone wants to do a test, we'll pop you in. I'll do it on uh, Facebook as well. I'll drop a, I don't know if this is going to work. Why is it not coming up on my Facebook page? Oh, there it is. There. So it looks like I posted the comment on Facebook and on YouTube. YouTube is acting very strange right now because I don't see you guys' comments over there, but I see them in town. So who knows? I don't know what's going on. I have too many computers open. I'm not sure what's happening. But if anyone wants to test it, you can. Um, and then... So 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 now here Robert was able to click into one of my things. So if he was one of my guests on if he was my co-host or a podcast guest, um, yes, make sure whoever you click in, um, make sure you mute your mic, mute your whatever you're watching on so there's not an echo. So I could add Robert there and then I'll pick Robert over it as Robert was saying if he was wanted to do a panelist and then we've got Rugi fan twenty three. That's Scott. Hi. And what's up, Robert? Hey, long time no see in person. Yeah, man. I don't so, have a shirt on. No kidding. <laughs> or lights. <laughs> <laughs> so there's probably some crazy. There's a some sort of crazy echo because people are listening to me through their computer, and there's multiple people. So if you if we were like figuring this out for real, we would probably figure it out better. It's probably because Robert doesn't have headphones on, which is where you guys hearing that echo. I'll go get him. I can just mute good. him. There, I just muted him, and then he went away, and we got rid of the echo and him. He has a shirt. I have headphones. <laughs> hey, the together. two of you would be a great live streaming, one person live streaming together. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you guys can see here that, uh, and then we could even do, like, a layout like this, where if it was, a, and if we got more people in, we would be, you know, then I could do my wide over there. Like, it's like me, another me, my guests. Um, and then there's like different layouts. Then this is this would be my favorite for the panel view, but it, it would always pretty much keep me as the host. And then the panel, I, I never get the, the sides right because there's too many things in here. My panelists would be over there. Hey, look, it's Scott. Yep, I'm Rugi fan. So that's all cool stuff. And uh, again, there, if there's last minute questions, there's still 10 people watching here. Um, Drop a question now, and uh, one of the best, probably the best thing that you can do is I've been doing a lot of these, and I'm actually pushing people over to YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, head over to the YouTube channel and uh, subscribe over there, um, and that'll be the easiest way to keep up with all the stuff that I'm doing. Because I'm talking about you, lighting stuff and video stuff and live stream and stuff. Scott, have you worked with green screen? I don't do or green screen because. I just build crazy things that look I, cool instead of using green screens. I, I actually just started playing with a green screen on StreamYard today, if you want to see. Yeah. All right. So we're going to watch Robert set up a green screen. <laughs> Real. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Yo, that's actually sweet on a retractable <laughs> banner. OK, and then uh, here we go. Well, I gotta Bring me to the right. beach, dude. Uh, <laughs> you get a brick wall. Hey, look at that. All right, hey. we're, I'm going to I'll highlight you. comedian. Oh, there look, it's a brick wall floating. <laughs> there, we'll we'll, cool. we'll we'll narrow you so you can Oh, you got oh, nice. a new office. You work at WeWork now? <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah. I That's was great. that today for the first time. It's an easy Wow, it does a great job. Yeah. So people that are working on green screen stuff, it looks like it's just working on, and you just go to green screen and you just click the virtual background or whatever. That's so it's it looks cam, super easy. In the bottom, there's cam mic. You click that, and there's three options. There's camera, audio, and green screen. When you go to green screen, 
you can import things, but I don't think I can import videos yet. I wouldn't mm. want it to have a, a video running behind me. Not an option yet. Yeah, they're working. StreamYard is really working on a lots of new stuff. So that's cool. So people that w want to through do a green screen, where did you get that pop-up green screen like that? Uh, they're all, every place is sold out. So I got it on uh, Craigslist, and it's an Elgato green oh, screen. Oh, sweet. And uh, eBay has one that's cheaper, a different name, and it's larger and wider. So I'd consider getting that one. Same pop-up thing, too. Sweet. And you can literally, people are like, what do I build my green screen out of? Like, you can literally buy a lime green sheet. Make it tight okay. so there's not a bunch oh, of wrinkles. Oh. Hey, hey, wait, wait, I'll show you what I was playing with today. It's a <laughs> I mean, you do out. need to, that being said, you know, Scott and I have talked about it a lot on forums and stuff. Of, <laughs> well, we <laughs> Look at that. Magic. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's so funny. Yeah, see, screen. so that's all that green screen does. It it, sh it takes the green and puts whatever you want on top of it. So whatever it sees as green, it makes it invisible and puts the video on top of it. Uh, so nice. that's cool. So so again, Thanks, for Robert. people that are watching this, that it was that easy. I just posted the link. If I needed to post my link to my guests or front row audience people, I can post that link out, get them in, and... Uh, I cannot aim my cam. <laughs> <laughs> and then we could have this whole, we, you know, we could have this thing as a me on the backside uh, or the behind the scenes version. It's pretty sweet. Is there any way to tell whether you have audio going out to your stream? That's one like of your audio the... dropped out. Yeah, my audio dropped out and I would have known that except I was operating as two people and I wasn't looking at the monitor that I would have been looking at. It was literally like this laptop. I was on that camera and it was said on my screen like you're you are muted. <laughs> I just uh, wasn't looking at that one. Okay. Um, it doesn't give you like a good like audio meter. It's one of the things that's a little frustrating with StreamYard. It gives you an audio meter like when you're logging in. Uh, or when but when you're like kind of backstage, it's like, I'll oh, check your audio or whatever. But like in the real time, it doesn't really give you a good like audio meter thing. It kind of, you can see there, like I can see that my mic's not muted um, and that's good. I just fully removed my, this whole setup from the screen. I was just doing that one. So that's what happened earlier. That was literally like not a StreamYard problem. That was a me. Cool. Being two people at once problem. Thank you for having me. Thanks for joining. That your four I... minutes is up. Oh no, I had a question. <laughs> all right. It's not at all related to uh, StreamYard. Is that okay? Nope. So here was the idea when I was playing with the green screen today. I was thinking it'd be fun to have someone uh, uh, zoom bomb my show. Yeah. Uh, and a guy Fox. You know the whole cable. Yeah. And a guy like Fox v for cast. Vendetta. Yeah. V for Vendetta, and then I get all flustered into my show, and I make them disappear, and I appear in their location. And then I take the mask off and it's me. So oh, nice. So hence, I was thinking I could have them take a picture, a photograph of their background. I could throw it up on here and uh, we could in a moment switch places. I'd have to drop the green That's screen. cool. Or yeah. The, the, so you just confused everyone who's watching this. But the point I, I, being, I'm still working it out. It's point there, I get point it. being like with this stuff, there's so many cool things. That, and and, and to, to kind of hijack that idea, it's like a lot of magicians and performers are like, well, it sucks. I can't do what I do in my live show. And like creative thinking like that is like, OK, now you're doing something that you can't do in your live show and can only do by utilizing green screen and utilizing the technology. Now you're doing something that's impossible in a, in a live show. So I think that's key. Like besides all the tech and the gear and stuff for people to be thinking, Oh, I'm going to utilize this stuff and create something as a digital experience that just can't exist anywhere else is where everyone needs to be thinking. I'm, I'm writing a whole show based on that. And the working title is uh, I want to be in the zoom where it happens. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, Stuart asks, is that a transparent overlay with your name at the bottom? Um, see. I'm not sure what we're talking about there, um, but you could totally do that. Like a transparent, like I said, you could do an overlay like that. And that's just a file. So you can just do whatever. Um, so like Vinny is one of the people that I work with. Like there's Vinny's logo. I, I produce shows with him. So I have his thing hey, loaded hey, up. Hey, it's <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that you can do fun Zoom things <laughs> on it. Um, so, Internet Chris Ruggiero at the bottom right. Oh my God. 
Where I don't, I don't see, see where it says Chris. It says it says Chris Ruggiero at the bottom right. That it doesn't say that for me. That's on YouTube. Looks like that's what's on YouTube. I don't know what that is. What are you using if, for your uh, gigabyte uh, bandwidth? Using Sonic or something else? Um, oh, the little. Uh, sorry. Oh, get to the uh, while I'm in, in the middle of two Atlanta. things. So Atlanta. to. Uh, Stuart's question, it says Chris Ruggiero at the bottom right. That's just my overlay on YouTube. So on all my YouTube videos, that's a YouTube setting. All my YouTube videos have my little monogram or my little transparent logo. So that's just a YouTube thing. But uh, yeah, so for gigabit internet, I have Google Fiber, um, which you get literally if I'm hardwired in. I literally like actual readings is like 917 up and down. Um, so that's like... Nice basically what like would be awesome and like insanely fast in other worlds is like if you get 250 you're like this is crazy so i'm getting over 900 up and down kind of like with zero downtime um which is pretty great yeah, I need that. it's just unfortunately not available in most places with the google fiber just in good cities, it's not available. Yeah, they just brought it to the bad cities. And they <laughs> said, well, okay, good enough. We did our part. <laughs> <laughs> so it, there's others. AT&T has fiber, though, um, which I think is just as fast. Same thing. It's not available in most places. But literally, you need like six up and down to do a live stream. Like, okay. And especially if you're hardwired in with Ethernet. So if people are don't have super fast internet if you're ethernet if you if you're hardwired and you don't really want to be streaming via wi-fi Streamyard did just announce that that you can start your broadcast from an ipad or from a mobile device now though which is pretty cool so that's that well thank you yes yeah, thanks thanks for the sharing the green screen that's a really cool green screen so now people know that like i i typically shy away from recommending green screens just because most people don't know how to use it and they, it just looks worse um but if you have a simple setup and you have like decent lighting it'll it looks good i just need to change the lens so that I, uh it's not so wide yeah and just crop that off or however you figure it out or put it closer to you whatever it looks like it's right next to you but if you, you could figure you could solve that Oh, yeah, you could put that like right behind you, then it'll probably be good if there's not a big shadow. Alex has been doing TikTok. StreamYard would be great. Yeah, StreamYard won't send it to TikTok, but, um, you know, you could do... Uh, Thank all you. right. Thanks, Robert. See ya. And uh, that'd be a cool thing to uh, start playing with live streaming. You can send it to Facebook, YouTube, all your places. And you could even maybe advertise to your TikTok audience. Uh, what do you do with a newer laptop that doesn't have an Ethernet port? You get a dongle. So a new laptop like a MacBook Pro that only has USB-C, you can get a USB-C to Ethernet dongle for like 20 bucks at the Apple store. And that'll work great. And then you'll be USB-C, plug your Ethernet cord in, your Ethernet will go right into your router, and you'll be rocking out. So cool. Now we're coming up on the hour. So thank you guys all so much for watching, joining in the chats. We are, as I, as I promised, so I'll, I'll drop this over here. As I did promise, um, I am working on the Just Go uh, Mastermind group. So it's going to be an exclusive 10-person only group. Um, that we're going to take your ideas and take them to the next level. It's not so much going to be about tech and gear that you might be thinking about. Um, it's not really about the tech of live streams or the what kind of lighting to use. It's more of a fundamental ground level. What, the, what are the fundamental principles that you need to be thinking about and working on to um, take your ideas to the next level. There's going to be only 10 spots open. So it's kind of a blueprint. Um, that'll be based on my book, which is called Just Go. It's about taking the first steps um, instead of waiting until you're ready. It's about taking the first step, jumping in. So there's 10, there's, there's 10, there's going to be 10 spots left. It is going to be a paid program. It's not free. Um, so I, because there's only 10 spots, I have to limit it. Um, so it's going to be something that's a bit of an exclusive thing that's going to be only for people who are actually committed to taking their uh, 
taking their stuff to the next level. If you are interested in checking that out, you can go to chrisrugero.com slash group. And uh, as you, uh, if you go over to that site, there'll be a little bit of info and you can request access. You can drop your name, email in there. And uh, you'll be on the list to get first access as we launch and open up those spots. So again, if you have specific questions about that, um, that'll be a bit of a, you know, requesting access. That's not going to be something that's just readily available for people. It'll be kind of a, a very curated group of people that uh, will be able to help it. Not just come, not just people coming there like, Hey, I need all my problems solved. It'll be more of a community where it's like community of people who are making stuff happen and not only looking for help from others, but also providing help to others. And I'll be kind of the fearless leader making it happen. So go over chrisrogero.com slash group. If that sounds like it's something you might be interested in getting your stuff up and running here as things start to open up and the world gets back to, we're not going back to normal. We're going forward to better. How about that for the just go mindset? Rob, what do you think about that, Rob? Sort of a blueprint. Yep. I bet Rob likes that. Just silence. <laughs> All right. So thanks again for um, popping in. I like it. He likes, Rob likes it. I knew he would. I knew he would. That's why I said it. So thank, yeah. So um, you'll see in the descriptions or wherever you can check out StreamYard. Again, I'm not getting paid by them to promote them or advertise them. I actually pay them. Uh, for this, this, and I just think it solves so many. Um, I think it just solves so many of my problems where I don't need to think about anything. Yeah, there's limitations, and it's like you can't produce a crazy full-on theater show. Um, but that's probably not what audiences want anyway. They want something that they can feel special about, and they just want to see you uh, performing and doing your thing. They might not want thirty different screens flying in and all the crazy stuff. So. Um, I think just like rethinking about what your show is or whatever you're doing, your podcast, and not trying to recreate the live experience, creating something new for that's exclusive for the internet. Alex likes that Rob likes it. Also, Rob, the internet isn't a big live theater show. Exactly. People are trying to say, well, my show worked in theater, so I'm going to broadcast it out to more people and it's going to be even better when it's on the internet and it's just not working. And, and we've seen a lot of live stream shows that are just not working because people are trying to do their theater show in front of a camera at home. And it's not what it is when realistically, maybe you should, maybe some people, instead of trying to do this big elaborate theater show should just be doing a podcast or talk to the camera or like I'm helping people craft their live streams and, uh, work on some stuff behind the scenes and helping a lot of entertainers take this idea and their show to the next level. And I don't need a whole lot of tech. I just need StreamYard and a camera and some lights. So that's that. So that's it. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you have questions, uh, just drop me a message anytime. Most of the people that are watching this are uh, friends with me on Facebook. So drop me a message on Facebook if you want. And uh, finally, again, like I said, if you might be interested in the pre-knowledge uh, about the, 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 the mastermind group, head over to chrisrogero.com slash group. You can sign up to be uh, first in the loop there. No commitment, obviously. It's just like going to send you some more info to see if it might be a fit for what you're working on to take your stuff to the next level. And um, yeah. That's it for now. Thank you and goodbye.